hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a makeup tutorial for valentine's day if you are interested make sure you stay tuned so first i am starting off by just wiping my face my lips are already moisturized and i'm using vaseline and then my next step, um, this is more of a skincare, but my next step, what I like to do is use my Revlon Smooth and Perfect, and it is a face diffuser. And before you do that, you also want to make sure you are moisturized. So I will be moisturizing my face with the Pearl Essence Rose Water. Okay, honey, now we're really about to get this tutorial popping. And so I just want to start off by talking about something that is trending right now. And Tessica Brown and this whole Gorilla Glue situation. Now, my opinion is unpop might be unpopular. Well, it can't be too unpopular because a lot of people feel the way that I feel. But yeah, um, I was looking at the situation and I've been pretty much following it since it happened. And um, if you don't know, Tesca Brown is the the lady that had that is pretty much viral right now for the using the gorilla glue in her hair to lay her hair down. Um. She has been trending right now. I know Chance the Rapper, he said something. He mentioned her. I don't know if he mentioned her name, but he talked about her. So celebrities are following her. I think Car Cardi B mentioned her. There are so many like celebrities and a lot of people, a lot of people are talking about it. And so she is verified. And I think a lot of people are just pissed off because it's taking her a long time to come up with the update. Like, sis, are you okay or are you not okay? Um, so some people are feeling like, you know, we're praying for her. We want all to be well. And I want all to be well too. Like, I know people make bad decisions every day. People make mistakes every day. But that has to be horrible because that she say her hair has been in that style for over a month now. And I know her scalp is probably itching, irritated. I can only imagine. However, I feel like she might be clout chasing because when you look at her account, it's like you post, you're reposting. She's gained all these followers. And of course, because people want to see, they want to keep up with her story. Now I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. At this point, like she's gained a lot of followers. I don't, the last time I checked her GoFundMe was at $9,000. And people are getting kind of frustrated because she hasn't been given an update, but she has been posting like, the celebrities that have been mentioning her so i personally feel like um yeah she didn't do this situation on purpose but she's definitely gonna milk the situation for her 15 minutes of fame like she's definitely gonna get she's gonna milk it out because she know once that glue is out her head that people are going to basically go on about their business and they're not gonna be thinking about her and um, I do wish her the best. I do pray that she does get that situation handled because I can only imagine how her scalp must feel. Um, they are saying that once you um, add water, because one of her videos on her Instagram page, she said that she washed her hair 15 times. And they are saying that one, <laughs> when you put water on this, um, gorilla gorilla glue spray that it activates even more and that like this is a hardware spray something that people use in construction something that you can um adhere um 
glass. I think I, I read what they tweeted out and I think, um, and what they put on the tweet was that this glue is made for glass fabric. Um, it's used in construction, it's used to, to um, bind glass, fabric, hardware, wood, um, auto parts. So this is some strong uh, glue. This ain't no, uh, no nail glue, <laughs> you know, and even that's um, strong, but this, this is something that people, that is used in construction. So, at this point, she is now trying to sue the, allegedly she's trying to sue the glue company. And I'm like, sis, you really don't have a case because they're saying she does have a case because the can doesn't say, didn't say do not spray on hair. But it's like, you're a 40 year old woman. Like you got to have more sense than that. But I guess she didn't. And it's like, I can overlook the fact that you made a mistake. That's not a mistake that I would have made because I like to read things before I use them. Even if it's something that I'm familiar with, I'm always looking, looking at what the products say, looking at the ingredients, you know, checking stuff out. But something like that, I don't know how she got it confused. People are saying she could have confused it with the got to be glue um i mean not the got to be glue but the gorilla snot gel but when you look at that i mean it's it has warning labels and all of that stuff on there so i don't know how this is going to work out i know she has not really been giving a lot of updates to her followers it's just like she's milking her clock like oh i got followers now Mm -hmm. let me um just keep stringing them along so people are in the comment section going off people are upset that she's verified i'm like this just don't donate or if you feel like this person is you know stringing milking the situation and you know people all over the world have been reaching out to her so I understand why people are frustrated, but I'm like this, stay off her page, you know, stop checking her account every five, five minutes. Um, personally, personally, I do feel like she might be milking the situation, but her, she's, I'm not going to say she's not looking for attention. She probably didn't know that her video was going to go viral. So most time, most of the times when a person does something that makes them go viral, they may not know that what they're about to do is making them is about to make them go viral. So she probably didn't know she was going to go viral and now she's using it as an opportunity. And it's like I can't be mad at her, but it's like, "Sis, tell us something. Are you okay?" Um, I know the last time I I checked uh, for an update, she did say she had an appointment on the 10th with the dermatologist. Today is the 8th. No, today is the 9th. We up, we up late. Today is the 9th, so prayerfully, she'll get her situation uh, sorted out and, you know, wishing her the best. But it's like, come on, sis. You, you a whole grown woman. Like, you a grown woman. Like, you are a woman in your 40s. Like, I thought you would have had more sense than that. All right, guys. Next, I'm using my Morphe 35M. And the cover that I'm using is Addicted. Next, I'm taking my BB brush and I'm just going to blend it out. All right, and now we're using our e.l.f. primer to create our cut crease.
Okay, you guys, so we want to go right back over here and add some color. We want the color to ombre. Okay, so now I'm trying this bright pink. All right, now we are using this color right here. actually going to go over it with this color to kind of tone it down a little bit I don't want the cut crease to be extremely bright because I wasn't going for like a white look so yeah I'm going over it also with this purple color really lightly because I'm trying to tone it down I wanted it to be bright but not extremely bright and it looks like I am achieving my goal. So I'm loving the way it is turning out. I'm loving the boldness. So now we are going to do our wing liner. Yeah, I love how full and fluffy these lashes are. So I've let my lashes dry and I just pop my lashes onto my lid. Okay, so don't let them get too dry. I did let that one get too dry and I'm realizing throughout this video that it was not sticking all the way. So just make sure you always have enough glue on each lash and that it's tacky and ready to be placed on your lash. All right, you guys, so for my foundation, I'll be using the black opal in the color Beautiful Bronze. And I love this stuff because how smooth it glides on. Now, this is a drugstore foundation, but I just love it. It melts into your skin like butter. And it just glides on so smooth. And I feel like this foundation, it really matches my skin tone. So, okay, my final thoughts on the whole Tessica Brown uh, situation is I feel like um, a lot of people are upset, but I feel like a lot of people would be doing some of the same things that she is doing if they were the ones in the situation where they all of a sudden got hit with fame. Um, she probably didn't know like I said before, she honestly probably didn't know she was going to go viral. How, however, it's like I can see through the BS. I see through everything that she's doing. Uh, I ain't saying I'm mad at her or whatever. She's probably just doing what she feel like she needs to do. But um, as far as her suing the company, I don't think she'll have a case. I mean, I'm interested to see how it is going to turn out. But it's like, you made the mistake yourself, sis. You can't, um, you can't sue somebody for a mistake that you made when you should have been reading a label. So I just can't wait to see what happens. If she actually sues them, if she wins the lawsuit, um, I, I'm just ready to see how it's all gonna turn out. But more importantly, I hope she gets the help that she needs for her hair and i hope that she doesn't um lose her hair or damage her hair follicles but yeah i still feel like i see that i can see you know why people are saying she's doing it for clout 
why people are saying, you know, I can see that because instead of her coming, going live, like, to the, there are some people that's like really praying for her and really like rooting for her. And I feel like, you know, instead of her going live and saying, hey, you all, you know, to the ones that's praying for me, I'm okay. This is where I'm at with it right now, blah, blah, blah. She didn't do that. She's like reposting all of, of the celebrities. So it does look like sis is, you know, doing it for clout. Um, look like she is doing it for clout. So I'm using the same concealer that I used and I'm just going underneath my eye. I'm contouring using the Believe Beauty. Okay, now we are using Airspawn. This stuff just jumped out and it's just everywhere. I put too much pressure on it and it started jumping out. Y'all, so I am loving this look already. Like the eyeshadow, I'm loving it. Even though my hands look like I've been frying chicken. And guys, I know that we are in the middle of a pandemic and, and, you know, some people are working from home. Some people are going into work um, or going in the office um, for work. But just, if you can, just dress up. You know, put on your, your good wig, honey, from Glam by Portia. Yes, make sure you make sure you shop with us at Glam by Portia. Get you a good wig, honey. Make sure even if you don't put on a full. Oh, I'm sorry, you are. I'm using the soft focus golden almond finish to dust off of dust that powder off and to kind of balance out that color so that I'm not ghostly. Yeah, um, just make sure that you are you know getting up putting on your good wig even if you ain't doing a full face make sure your skin is moisturized you got on your lip gloss i mean we not going into 2021 looking ugly honey we we not doing that and then unfortunately how the world is the world treats you the world treats you how they perceive you treat yourself so if you walking around looking tore up, people are not gonna respect you, they're not gonna respect that. And I use something even darker, I use the milk chocolate finish. 
Now we're using Revolution to do our highlighting. I love this stuff because it is so pigmented. I don't have to dig into it all extra hard just to get the product out. I'm using the NYX Sweet Cheeks. Y'all, I'm not a blush expert, so... So yeah, I changed my mind. I'm actually gonna use the Inglet Eyeliner because it is much bolder. I be trying so bad not to make all them ugly faces. You know how you be making all them crazy faces when you putting on your makeup? You be like, doing all that. I definitely be doing that. I be having to tell myself, Portia, we not gonna make all them crazy faces, honey. And then I have to go back and edit out all of those faces because I don't want y'all to see me doing all All right, girls. And now I'm using the Milani Make It Last 16 Hour Spray as my setting spray. So I'm really loving this look. It's very, it's very soft. It's very, well, not extremely soft, but it's kind of bold, it's feminine, and I just love it. I'm loving that I took a chance on that bold pink because it's really cute. It's giving me that bold, but not too much. So I'm really loving it. So you guys, if you enjoyed this look, make sure you thumbs up this video like comment and subscribe and honey if you're wondering where i got this look luxurious gorgeous bouncy full hair i got it from glambyportia.com that is my new wig line or my new website for all of my wigs you guys make sure you go there check it out scroll we are new we are growing but we are here so I'm loving this hair. I'm having so much fun with it. I'm like imagining all of the sexy Valentine's Day looks I'm going to do for date night. I hope you guys have a very fun and safe Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And of course, I will see you in the next one. Bye.